Looks like we all know what's going down But no one's saying shit what happened to the home of the brave These motherfuckers they controlling us now And no one's talking about how they made us fight and be slaves And everybody's just walking around Head in the clouds and won't awaken to a dead in the grave But then it's too late, we need to be ready to raise up Welcome to the end of day Everybody is slaves, only some are aware That the government releasing poison in the air That's the reason I collect so many guns in my lair I ain't never caught slipping, never underprepared Yeah, they shade sign on me They just break it proudly George Bush, the grandson of Alistair Crowley They want you to believe the lot of the enemy Saudi The enemy ain't Saudi, the enemy around me Hey guys, <clears throat> this one here is uh, by request by a few members. Uh, we've been asked exactly why it is that like we do what we do. Um, you know, a whole lot like when it started there, uh, when Occupy started, like why are they protesting? They don't know why they're protesting. They don't know this, they don't know that, so on and so forth. So um, this is more one of those spiritual things because every now and again you'll see a, a religious post put up and... Uh, some people will get upset. They'll say, well, I thought this was like anti-religion and anti-government and, and this and that and that and this. The most important thing to remember, though, is that anarchy does not equal antichrist. There is a difference. Uh, I read a lot of definitions of anarchy of many different things. One of the ones I enjoy reading is that anarchy says um, that uh, <clears throat> we make the decisions from our heart for what is right, not because someone told us that it's right things of that nature. Well, when you start to understand that you're governing your life like that, well, that's very, very spiritual, regardless of any way you want to look at it. Um, so, yeah, I don't take kindly to religion bashing, regardless of the religion. I get mad when people bash Muslims. I get mad when people bash Mormons. It doesn't really, really matter. Like, even Catholics, to tell you the truth, like, if you were to come straight out and say that the entire Catholic populace was, like, absolutely, like, pedophilic this and that, that would upset me. That really would, because we're, we're blanketing an entire populace of a belief because of the mistakes of a few. That's not cool. Well, you know, it's, we shouldn't do that to any denomination and any faith on this planet. Um, what I've chosen to do, uh, which is a whole lot different than what most people try to do, is after researching the political corrupt yeah, you can only do that for so long, guys. Like, the people are still alive. If they were corrupt yesterday, they're corrupt today. You know what I mean? Not a whole lot changes changes on that aspect. So then you start looking into, like, the law enforcement corruption. Not just political corruption, but law enforcement corruption and why it takes place and why it's happening. Again, you can only research that for so long. You know what I mean? After a while, that starts to get on your nerves, too, where you want to start to hurt people. Now remember, this isn't the goal. The goal is not to get so worked up and so angry that we're going to go out there and start ending people's lives. It's not really the goal. The goal is to get as educated as human possible right now. Because if there is a, hit, a shit hit the fan scenario, then it's, it's already like it's already happening, man. It's happening right now. It's not when the shit hits the fan, guys. The more and more research that I'm doing, the more and more that I'm realizing that the bucket is already in the air. Like, it's not catch the bucket before it hits the fan. It's how fast can you get to the closet and grab your fucking umbrella so you don't get shit on you. It, it's We're in that time. We're in that situation. So I don't like seeing a whole lot of when shit's going to hit the It is hitting the fan right now it's happening right now that's what people don't like to hear that's what people don't want to do that is why most of my friends work so hard those who understand my message are the ones that you're seeing every day working very hard to bring forward that information now some will actually tell us that we're preaching to the choir because we all know this shit really do we all know it no we don't not the 2,000 and plus that's in this group. We don't, all, we don't all know it. One of the objectives, one of the missions in the early stages was to add your entire Facebook friends list. Okay? Now, how many insults do you get a day on your friends list, from your friends list, I should say, uh, regarding the information that you like to post? 
Okay? Those are the people that have to be in the resistance. Those are the people that have to have access to this information indefinitely. They may not want to read it. They may not want to do anything with it. But that does not mean they don't deserve access to it. That's what we've created is an access point. All the Occupy this and the Anonymous that, it's all leading into something. And then it's going to expand back out into something greater. Right now, my objective, as narcissistic as it might seem, and as egotistical as it was, my objective was to make, like the old expression, all roads lead to Rome. Right? Well, I wanted to make it that all roads lead to the Connor camp. Meaning, regardless of your uh, environmental activist, regardless of if you're a civil union person, regardless of if you're just a, a black bloc anarchist protester, regardless of whether you're an occupier, an anonymous hacker, an anonymous intel gatherer, uh, regardless of whether you're the media or if you're a political party that's trying to make headway with the populace. Remember, politics as dirty and as gruesome as it is, it's simple. What do the people want to hear and what do I have to say so that the people understand that me and the people are on the same page? That's politics. That's all it is. Now, it gets skewed when you start having different favorable groups of the people. We're not even talking about the favorable groups on the other spectrum, meaning the different political parties. I'm talking about the different organizations available within society. The politician's greatest task at this point is to enter those organizations and all those rallies and give a speech that will move his immediate crowd to get the votes. This is where we're finding that the, uh, this is where all the corruption is born. It's born here. Now, they, all they have to do is not feed it, and it will die. But that's not what they do. They feed it, and it gets worse and 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 worse. And just keep going. <clears throat> so, what I'm trying to do is make it so that regardless of the topic of choice, I don't care if you like researching uh, religion, politics. Okay, they say you shouldn't drink and talk religion or politics. It always leads to a fight. Well, how about we develop an art, an art form in which we can discuss religion and politics and not get into a ludicrous debate and fight over it? There are many things that we agree on. So let's start there. The hardest thing for me was to find all of the things that the, that the faiths believe on. The one of the things is that Jesus Christ figure, be him a man or be him a, a symbol, symbolism, wouldn't matter. That's one of the things that they keep together, is that. So, I have no choice. I have to look into this, okay? Um, you, you guys might say, like, oh, well, that's not relevant. No, spirit science spoke of Christ's consciousness, which Christ is just a, a word that stands for the anointed, which is fine, okay? So... Jesus the anointed. Okay, well, we're about to turn John Connor into an anointed. We're going to do the very best that we can to make it so that regardless of the religious faith that a person has, when they enter the resistance and they have questions, be it their faith or questions of a faith, I want it all available. I want the good and the bad available so that we can have objective opinions. The problem is, is I don't want the bad to be a bunch of fucking ignorant bullshit. I want to bet the bad aspect of the religions, those true and honest doctrinal debates. I want that. I don't want the, oh, well, you know, they worship the sun, or they worship the moon, or the stars. Really? Because I can tell you of a religion that worships all of them. What I want to know is the fuck why are they doing it? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to remove the hocus pocus from religious scripture, regardless of that scripture, because we know something in reality. We know that a message in its entirety is best sealed and preserved for the ages within a story. 
So the fact of the matter is, is I don't give a flying fuck if the Bible is nothing but a compilation of stories. I want to know why it was so important, because back then it wasn't like just comic books, okay? Not every three-year-old had comic books. If that shit was written on stone, you weren't letting a child go around and walk around with it and then break it and screw it up. <clears throat> Stop applying today's mentality to then. That means that if it was written back then, the shit was important. And they didn't just write the facts. Because they understood what we understand. Lock it away within a story. It will survive the ages. Same reason why we create time capsules today. Oh, we're going to put a little bit of the whole bunch of things that existed this year in this time capsule. So when people find it in two or three thousand years from now, they'll have an idea of what we were doing at this point. Let's not act like we invented the fucking time capsule. The Bible, the fucking Quran, the Torah, the, they're nothing but ancient freaking time capsules. We have to decode what was going on. Because if there's truth to this Nibiru, or if there's truth to these different pole shifts and these things that are happening, if this shit happens on a regular basis to this planet, and if mankind in its entirety, as stupid as it was, been trying to tell each other, you know, look into this, well then, that's what we're supposed to be doing, okay? Now I'm moving forward to the next video, because I'm already at 11 minutes, guys. All right. Peace. It's like we all know what's going down, but no one's saying shit what happened.